Hi, my name is Donna Weinstein. I'm an associate professor in electrical and computer engineering here at Purdue, and I'm very excited to share with you a brief overview of the research efforts and initiatives in my group here at the Hybrid MEMS Lab. The primary focus of our research is in disruptive technology, bringing new capabilities for radio frequency and millimeter wave frequency sources, filters, and sensors. There's a strong emerging need for hardware that can address next generation automotive and sensor applications, 5G and 6G communication, millimeter wave imaging, spectroscopy, smart infrastructure, neuromorphic signal processing, quantum computing, and even high resolution ultrasonics, among others in this broad spectral range. We work on new devices and systems using microelectromechanical systems, or MEMS, which combine electrical and mechanical signals at the micro scale or even at the nano scale to address the needs of these various applications. And these MEMS devices have low loss, small footprint, and can be manufactured and packaged in established standard technology that's already used for integrated circuits like your microprocessor chips. Very broadly, the hybrid MEMS lab conducts leading research in several areas towards these goals. In the realm of CMOS MEMS, we look at new ways to leverage both existing and emerging transducers available in standard integrated circuits for electromechanical systems and have demonstrated the highest frequencies and the only truly integrated resonators in standard CMOS to date. We also work in other material systems, including 3-5 semiconductors such as gallium nitride, which is great for high power and high frequency applications or for programmable radio, and lithium niobate, where we can take advantage of amplification, tuning, and even non-reciprocal behaviors for RF signal processing. We also have exciting new efforts in microactuators for autonomous robots and in high-frequency focused ultrasound. So research in the area of MEMS and in my lab involves the full experimental cycle, including design, fundamental analysis, simulation, microfabrication, testing and characterization, and in many cases the opportunity to prototype devices in, in application. Uh, the Hybrid MEMS Lab has a home in Purdue's Burke Nanotechnology Center, which hosts one of the largest clean rooms and metrology facilities in any academic institution in the U.S., as well as cutting-edge RF characterization equipment in our lab. If you're interested in learning more about research opportunities in my group, please feel free to send me an email. Thank you.